Hey YouTube, Mick here. Alright, so I'll do a quick video. Um, I might not be quick, I might be a little bit long. <clears throat> Alright, I've decided to uh, bite the bullet and basically buy my own property, my bushland property, acreage, basically. I've been wanting to do it for a long time, um, for years now, and uh, I've just always been held back probably partly because of my wife, she just doesn't believe in that stuff. But I'm gonna finally do it, and uh, I have a means of uh, finding the funds to do it now, so um, I'm gonna do it. And if the wife doesn't approve, well, sorry babe, but I'm doing it. Um, and she'll come to the, she'll, she'll enjoy it, she'll come to the realization that, you know, she'll enjoy the uh, property. Uh, the reasons why, well, I really need to start getting to prepping and prepping more hardcore than what I'm what I've prepped for at my house in suburbia. Um, so the only way to to prep properly is to have a rural property out in the bush, away from as many people as possible, um, in the event that something could happen. And I did another video and my main concern is a tsunami. Anyway, so, <clears throat> um, so I need to start prepping for it or preparing for it. Um, I'm just writing a list of stuff here that I believe is the basics I need to uh, sustain myself and my family and my mate and his family because at the end of the day my mate has the same mentality as me and um, we may go halves in it um, if, he, if he can, if not I'm definitely going to buy buy something and um, the minimum acreage I'm looking for is 100 acres um, if I can find more that's great uh, I've been looking online for properties that aren't too far of a drive from where I live but are also high enough to potentially survive a tsunami and um, price range is $90,000 to $150,000 um, which you know is a lot of money but it's not in a way, so um, I'm gonna do it. So, so yeah. So, why am I doing it again? It's prepping. It's making sure I've got some sort of farm or some sort of land where I can just uh, bug out to and um, and relax, you know. And this is my own land. I own the property. It's fenced. It's my property. Uh, no one else's. Um, the two bug out areas I I have in mind on my previous video are not my property. Um, so I want my own property. So basically, what what do I need, what do I need to start doing? Well, okay, first of all, obviously I need to get my funds together and buy the property. Um, so hopefully that's going to happen early next year, if not mid next year. Um, it's going to happen next year. I guarantee you that. So uh, hopefully next year I'll be doing videos on showing you my property and how I've um, prepped it up. So, first step, obviously, getting the property. Um, now, these properties won't have a shelter. Some do, for you know, 130,000, something like that. So that's not too bad. Uh, most of them don't. It's just basically land. So, um, so number one is shelter. Obviously, um, water. I need to find a property with a good resource of water. And I have found a lot of properties where they've got a flowing river or creek. Um, you know, a few dams, stuff like that. So uh, I need to find a property with with water, uh, energy, um, either being a generator, solar power, wind power, um, gas for cooking. Um, obviously, with the generator, you need diesel fuel. So uh, got to stock up on a diesel fuel and stuff like that. So. There's a few options there for energy, and um, you know I do want energy there. I do want a satellite dish there to, you know, keep in contact with the uh, outside world. Food, obviously, um, so I need to start buying and, and storing uh, dried foods. You know, um, you know, rice, flour, sugar, salt, canned foods, stuff like that. Um, I need to start investing in trapping equipment. You know, I've got my fishing gear, but fishing gear, um, you know, a compound bow, uh, rifles, I've already got rifles, 
ammo comes with that, I need to buy a shitload of ammo and just uh, store it and keep it at that property. Um, so, I mean, I class the bow and rifle and all that under food because obviously I'll be out there shooting game and, and um, you know, trapping game for food. Uh, tools, you know, obviously, uh, you know, I'm not going to go full primitive, so a chainsaw, you know, a saw, um, yeah, I've got my knives, got my axes, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but the main thing would be a chainsaw, just to uh, clear some bushland and, uh, and make it easier to to cut up firewood. And again, firewood is another means of fuel. Weapons, um, obviously I need weapons, um, and I do have weapons. Um, we are as blessed as you guys in America, where you can have semi-automatic, high-powered rifles and stuff like that. We can't have shit. All we can have is just a little bolt-action rifle or a pump-action 308 rifle, which is crap, if you, if you, you know, ask me. Um, we can't even have a pump-action shotgun. So we need to rely on bolt-action, lever-action uh, rifles. And, um, and yeah, and, you know, I've got a 303 25 caliber. I have a double-barrel shotgun. I have a 30-30 uh, sorry, sorry, um, Marlin and I have a air rifle. Um, that's about it. So I am in the market to get probably a, a two, 270 rifle, um, which I will get hopefully sometime next year. But I've got the weapons and I've got the ammo. I just need to buy a shitload more ammo. Um, you know, I need to get a 22. I don't have a 22, and uh, I used to have one, but had to hand that in because it was a 1022 semi-automatic. Um, so I need to buy another 22 and buy at least at least ten to twenty thousand rounds of twenty two ammo. I just the twenty two is just an amazing calibre. Um, you can get almost anything down with that. Um, medical. Obviously I need to stock up on more medical um, items, especially medicines for the kids and, and myself and my wife. Um, so I'd have a big, you know, storage of, of that. Um, now with the property it needs to be also you know, a bit of grazing land. I'm not going to really go into having cows and cattle and stuff like that, but I definitely will uh, put quite a few goats onto the property. Um, goats pretty much self-maintain themselves. They'll just eat whatever they can and survive. Uh, what and the benefits of goats is, uh, you know, meat. Obviously, I've got a source of uh, resource of meat there. Uh, goat milk and money. I can basically sell the goats to butchers and stuff like that and make a bit of uh, money from that so um, so yeah so that's just a quick list of what I wrote down you know in regards to prepping and what I need to buy and what I need to start you know collecting and, and storing in my house at first and then once I get the property uh, move up there and and drag everything up there um, in regards to shelter at first I'd probably um, I'll probably buy some piece of shit caravan and uh, just drive it up there and just put on some stilts and just leave it there. Um, at least it's got enough room to sleep, four to five people, and it's got its own little kitchen and you know fridge and this and that, and I can power it up through solar power or a generator or whatnot. But then eventually, slowly, slowly, I'll start building myself a nice log cabin and. Um, you know, do that, I'll probably buy a couple of 20 foot uh, shipping containers which I can get very cheaply because I work in the industry and uh, <coughs> have them to store you know, dirt bikes or quad bikes or uh, you know, gear that I don't want to get stolen um, so yeah, so that's my little I guess, plan in regards to prepping um, and it's not only about prepping, it's, it's about lifestyle too you know, I love the bush I don't get the chance to get up there as much and if I have my own property there's no excuse I'll be up there every single month maybe every couple of weeks maybe every weekend I'll be up there um, just uh, playing in my own playground and uh, I know the kids would love it I know the wife would love it you know you know and um, eventually she'll learn to love it anyway but um, yeah that's my plan I'm hoping to do it no I'm not hoping it's gonna happen next year and um, I'm really, really looking forward to it. I mean, it's too late in the year now to do it now, but um, 
yeah, I'll uh, definitely try to do it early next year and hopefully by March I'll have everything settled and have my property and um, have a caravan up there and then slowly, slowly start storing what I've just told you on this list here and uh, yeah, just have fun with the family and have peace of mind that I've got a place to bug out to and and it's my own property and uh, it's a bit of a um, a bit of a holiday for the family too. Get out there, we can ride the quads, ride the dirt bikes, do a bit of target shooting, do a bit of shooting, and um, and really teach the kids how to uh, live in a bush and survive. And um, you know, even take a couple of weeks off and just live up there for a week or two and and see what's happening. So that's my plan. It's going to happen. Um, there are quite a few areas that I've been looking at, and uh, they are nice, nice areas nice and green, they do get um, a bit of rain, um, it'd be about maybe a four, three to five hour drive from where I live, so it's not too far, um, so yeah guys, so that's me, that's my little prepping uh, wish list there, and uh, and yeah, that's it, so, um, and look, this is just a quick list of what I wrote down, obviously there's going to be a shitload more what I would need so you know please comment but you know just remember that I didn't write everything down it's just a bit of a rant on what I want so that's me cheers